this is the challenge of our growth. This is the challenge of our progress. Can we look at accountability? Can we hold ourselves to a standard that's greater than what we're told we can be at? The idea is that someone is showing you something that contradicts your understanding, but the person who's showing it is someone who is actively in it. Do you trust the knowledge? Do you trust the wisdom? Do you trust the truth? This is the challenge. And this is what happens when you challenge someone with truth and you're colliding with their reality. Why do I say that? Because the battle is not with facts and evidence, it's with perception. And perception, as we know, is reality. What did he say? And how did this thing turn out? For example, right? You like Chick-fil-A, right? You, you eat Chick-fil-A? No. Okay, all right. What about McDonald's? I, yeah, I do healthy shit. So oh, you do healthy? All right, all right, all right. Um, give me a healthy place you like. What's, what's the name? I, I cook every meal. So it's oh, okay, so, okay, you go to Publix, right? Where? Buy some stuff at Publix? Grocery store, yeah, sure. Grocery store? Okay. Say, for example, there's a grocery store, let's say, let's say Kroger, all right? There's Kroger on Fifth Street that you like to go to. You go there on Fifth Street, you go to Kroger, you go in there and you find out all the, the food is spoiled, you don't like it, they're treating you bad, right? So now you say, do you say, okay, you know what? For now, I'm not going to any Kroger store anymore. I'm done with Kroger because the Kroger on Fifth Street was very rude, very disrespectful. The food was, was subpar. The quality, everything was garbage, right? Do you say that and you blame all Kroger? Or do you go to Kroger? No, I just don't. Street? I just don't spend my money at any of their stores. Okay. Well, you know what the no, what regular people do on, on, on average? They'll find a different location, even though it's a sustained store. They'll go to a different Kroger, maybe the Kroger on 15th Street, and no longer go to the one on 5th Street. Why? Because the Kroger on 5th Street is not holding up to the standards that they believe they should have. So right? how many... So That's, how many... So how many black bodies do do uh, cops got to, you know, murder in the streets or or people that are cop adjacent murder in the streets before we give up? Do you know? Yeah, how give me one second. Let me jump in. Mm -hmm. Talking about black bodies being murdered in the street. <laughs> Show us how this Alvin is using confirmation bias and hasty generalization. Fallacious reasoning hurt us. Use your magic hand and wave off the <laughs> emotional Attack. Hey, Tyrone road from the 404. I'll say he's passionate. How about yeah. Passionate? <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> I, no, but I, I, I think. Hey, I'm going to sit in the, I'm going to sit in the pocket, bro. I have a, I have a, I under, I, and I thank you guys for being able to, and having me on here and being able to have a little bit of this di dialogue yeah, also. Yeah. Um, because, you know, um, you know, I have been on both sides of the police. I ha I've been on, I've been, I've, I've had someone let me go before when they probably shouldn't. And I've had, I've also been caught up in it and so on and so forth but so what have, i am you the benefit of, of discretion is what you're telling us i have i because i said my pleases and my thank yous and my yes sir uh, and no sir and I, yes sir massa let me please don't give me tickets sir oh please don't give me tickets sir yes sir massa i can tap dance for you sir i could tap dance for you sir so well, you i've been on both i know how it goes but what freedom, i'm trying man. to say is that is that right, the reality yeah. is is that, you know, you look at the numbers of how many African-American people are locked up versus what size of the population we make up, right? Like okay. we we break up, we we make up what, 12% of the population, but how many, what's the percentage okay. of prisons? Yeah, 40, 30, 40, 60%, percent. more than we should. Every other group, you look at their what their what their population is versus their population in prison is the same, except for us is two and three times as much. Why, so why is, that? is that? I'll tell you why it is. I'll tell you why it is. You make a good point. Earlier on the show, we talked about this representation. We lack representation in these spaces. We have TLA. Can someone drop uh, uh, Nathan's TLA link in the chat. Sorry so about that. You, you have TLA. He's he's an African American male, right? He's an attorney, attorney for over twenty years, right? Do you know that we are lacking in this space of law? There's only five percent of us. Five percent of us that are actually attorneys according to the American Bar Association, only 5% out of, out of this entire country. We only represent 5%, right? Here's the problem. What about in law enforcement? 70% of the law enforcement officers are, are, are white, okay? Blacks make up 12% of that, the entire police force. That's 700,000 police officers. We're only 12%. 
Now, here's the here's the, here's the caveat. Our numbers are dropping, right? Police departments across the nation are seeing a drop in African American applicants by twenty to fifty percent. Okay, so now you're talking we're we're absent now, right? We make up thirty eight percent of this prison population. But why is that? You say? Do you see the crimes that we're committing? Right? Do you see the crimes that we're committing? On average, on average. African Americans are killing themselves 7,500 bodies a year, mm -hmm. right? Between 7,000 and 7,500 guaranteed death, black deaths. Okay, so when we're talking about why we are in prison, we are committing half of the violent offenses in this country, and we're only 13%. So, so this argument that you're making is not rooted in facts, right? You're, what you're saying is, yes, we're there. But let me explain to you why we're there. We're committing a lot of the most violent offenses in this country, right? We, we're, we account for almost half of the murders. 7,500 of us, homicide, right? Died by homicide. How many white people died by homicide? It was like 4,000. Wow. There's 60% of the population. You get what I'm saying? Do you see the problem? We have an issue with our culture. There's a culture, Black culture, that needs to be examined. It needs to be identified and say, hey, what's the issue? We have kids, 14, 15, killing each other. I've seen it. I've stood over bodies. Mm. I've stood over so many black bodies. So you can't tell me, right? This is the problem. You cannot tell me. I know the truth. And here's the thing, right? I've arrested kids. I've arrested plenty of kids. And to turn around and find out four years later, I'm called into court to be a witness because they're on trial for aggravated assault. They're on trial for murder. And I need to testify on a previous case that I had with them when I arrested them a long, long time ago. Kids I've arrested at 14, 15 in DeKalb County are doing life in prison. Mm. And to know that I had a conversation with them, mentored them and trying to tell them that they can do better that don't allow this opportunity to, to, to dictate or change, you know, your future, right? That this doesn't define you. And to find out five years later, they're in prison. Sir, you see what I'm saying? It's deeper than that. It's not- I mean, I, I, I don't disagree with you at all. You see what I'm saying? So, so I, don't, I, don't, I, don't disagree, I, don't, I don't disagree with you at all, but, so with, but the, the numbers still- why we're but, filling up these prisons. But if we, you, so you're telling me you don't think that there's not a little bit of over-policing, a little bit of fudging here or there? There's all, but, but here's the thing. There's always going to be people who aren't doing their job properly. What I'm saying is you're, you're focusing on something that's so mind, you're talking about shallow issues. When the reality is, it's shallow, it's shallow in comparison to what's going on within our community, right? You're, I'm not, I'm not dismissing that it's a pro, it is a problem, but when someone says that, for example, right, you have you have activists who say police, police officers are the reason why the black community is failing, struggling, and can't achieve greatness. No, sir, that's not the reason why the black. I know, I know that not you, not you. <clears throat> I'm just saying there are people who make that type of uh, argument. We have a lot of issues in our community that need to be addressed. It's the reason why I love this channel. I love TLA's channel, right? We have brothers who are out here giving game and trying to explain to our people. We have a space where we can communicate now. I'm an officer. I can give back knowledge. Hey, here's where we went wrong. Here's what we can do. Here's how we have better interactions with the police. We don't need to fear them. We need to understand the law. We need to understand our rights, right? You have an attorney right here. We have people in this space of YouTube who have millions of subscribers, right? And they use their platform to push poison into our people's, into our minds. So again, we have the ability to have these conversations, to have these dialogues, and to really create change. And that's what the objective needs to be at. We sit here and we swim on this idea about the system not being fair. No, don't put your ass in the system. I never said the I'm system not wasn't to fair. You. I'm not talking oh, to you. I'm okay. just saying it. <laughs> but the idea is, and I'm sorry, I'm just very passionate. It's okay. No, no, I, but I, I, I appreciate that. No, you know what I'm saying? Sorry. Because I, I, love, I love our people. And, and, I, and again, I had to leave DeKalb County because it was so much violence, right? I was locking up brothers and sisters every single day. And there was no white man there telling them to commit those crimes. 
kicking in those doors, stabbing and shooting each other. It was us doing that. You of see course. what I'm saying? So, I, mean, so, how- so I don't. I, so what I'm saying to you though is, I get why things are the way they are. I know why there's officers that abuse their power. I know where it's coming from. I know the root problems. I know the causes. I have I have good good ideas on how to fix that issue, right? So there there are solutions. Collectively as a community, we can make change, but we can only do it together, right? And if we don't come together and do it, nothing will ever get fixed. It's nobody's responsibility to fix our problems but our, ourselves, right? And the same people that you're complaining about or other people complain about who put this system together, we cannot then turn around and complain about them, complain about this racism or systemic racism, and then beg them to fix the problem. It doesn't work like that. And I, I'm I'm sorry, TLA, I, I forgot where I just... No, no you're I, good. Well, we, right. mm-hmm. I wasn't Go ahead, even... Alva. Not yeah, you, brother. Not, 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 you, I, not you, not you, but this, this conversation needs to be had. It, it does. It's it not, does. not you. So I, I didn't mean that to be an attack or nothing like that. No, yeah. no, not at all. I, and I didn't, and I didn't take it that way. Okay, I appreciate all, that. all I'm saying is, uh, you know, it's a uh, because I'm I'm never going to be the, the 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 type of guy that's going to fall on you know playing the race card and racism right. and whatever. I'm not that guy. I'm a white guy, a black guy. I live in San Francisco. I deal with nothing with white people. My two <laughs> best friends are six year old white men because you hang around people you want to be around. I want to be rich, so you got black privilege. Then. It is it, it, well. I mean, I'm the only I'm the only one over here, which is why you know. But but what I, but when as I look back and it's and, and I look back at a you know every other day I'm seeing a, a article come across my my desk that says uh, you know a uh, man uh, released after 14 years falsely right. accused man right. you know locked up 29 years falsely accused right. blah 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 and like obviously like you know again bell curve those are on the outskirts yeah. right you know and yes. those are those extreme situations right. I understand that one is but that though, and but, I agree but, with you but there's a but there's a lot of those. Oh, he had crack in the glove box and he had some yeah. stuff in the glove box and, and people are catching sure. murder charges and gun charges sure. and, and catching these extra years that they're putting on their lives. And it's getting like kicked underneath the rug. And it's and, and, and that's the part that's killing me, because I know that there's a lot of black men in prison right now with extra years that they shouldn't have because somebody either planted some evidence or bent the rules or they felt like they needed to throw the book at them. And when we look at at, at the, the charges that they give black people versus white people, like once again, we can go all through the system that you guys are just talking about. And I'm saying, so the system is working exactly the way that it, it's supposed to, right? Exactly. That's why black people get larger, longer sentences than white people do for the exact same crime. That's the system doing exactly the way that it's supposed to. They give people, they give these judges enough discretion so that they can throw the book at the black people and not the white people. And that's what I'm saying. I'm you're, saying that we're, right. we're, we're out here complaining, acting like that's not what it is. And that's just what it is. We need to put and, our we need to put ourselves in a position of power to make change. And so the reality is there's five percent African Americans that represent the entire uh according to the American Bar Association, five percent of attorneys, lawyers in this country are African American, right? Five percent, twelve percent African American are law enforcement. Okay, you it, so so the reality is this we can either complain about the game or we can play the game. Okay, we're 13%. We don't make the rules. The rules are already been made. So we can either complain or we can play, right? We can either come together as a unit, as a group, and compete properly, or we're going to fail. It's just, that's just the, that's, it's just that simple. It's not complicated. Everybody else does it. Everybody knows what's going on. It's 60%. Okay, They're, so, so white people are going to be in every, every facet of this country. Their, their, their hands are in everything. Right. Whether they're genuine, unge- it doesn't really matter. The reality is there's more of them than there are us. Where we are failing is that we cannot come together. Right. We cannot come together and build with each other. That's the issue. And I, I do want to say this too, to, 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 you know, when you say the system is working exactly like it's supposed to, basically because it's fucking over black people. Right. That's uh, it, it's, it's not correct. It's just not correct. Now, I you say, oh, well, you know, it came across my screen that this person was arrested 
uh, unjustly, or it came across my screen that this person was incarcerated falsely, or it came across my screen that this person was in prison for life falsely, or it came across my screen that this person got executed falsely. And what I'm telling you is, yes, that is correct. But what Nathan and I are telling you is that the system is so much bigger than you realize right. that you don't have experience in it. You said, oh, this came across my screen. This came across my screen. Maybe you've heard of 30 things. Maybe you've heard of 50 things. Alvin. I mean, how many, how many, how many? How, well, well, let me explain it. How, when you say how many, Nathan just said that there are 10 million fucking arrests every year. You're talking about 30 things compared to 10 million right. a year. Now, those 30 things should not happen. But it sounds like you're saying, oh, the system is set up for these 30 things <sighs> to be the majority. No, I, I, I wasn't saying that at all. You, I'm just saying no, that. No, 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 no. Because when we talked about the fringe things, you said it's not the fringe. So well, now I'm, you're back I'm, I am. A little bit. I'm saying oh, what I'm saying is that those are obviously the extreme situations, right? But the 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 throwing the crack in the back seat, throwing the the crack in the whatever, that's you know, that happens case. a lot. Leading, you can't act. You can't. I, mean, what I, I can't is, pretend uh, like that, that stuff doesn't what, happen all the that time. That is what Nathan is trying to tell you as an expert. When so, you say a lot, what do you mean? Enough. Enough. I've seen enough. I well, leave, no, wait, leave, wait, leave, wait. Leave, leave One is enough. Much. One My is enough. Is, my Wait, question. Alvin, no, let's not, let's stop skipping around. Let's just take it a time at a time. I ask you, you, you say, well, it happens a lot. I say, well, fine. How much is a lot? Because Nathan just said that there are 10 million arrests. So out of these 10 million arrests, how many are a lot, Alvin? You said enough. Well, what, how, Alvin, the, wait, the real question, Alvin, the real... wait, Alvin. Wait, let's listen. What does Luke Hazley say right here, Alvin? Luke, shout out to Luke Hazley with the 50 spot. She says, this is where those of us outside a system must listen, must listen to the experience and the wisdom of those who are inside the system. Luke Hazley, nowhere in there, Luke Hazley, nowhere in there said that we were right. She didn't say in there, she didn't say that I'm right. She didn't say that, that Nathan is right. What she did say is though, if you're not in the system, maybe you should listen for a moment. Just take into consideration. I asked you how many is a lot. You said enough. Uh, Alvin, one time is enough. One time for a, a cop planning crack is enough. enough. Right. But exactly. Just, but just because that happened one time, does that, that doesn't mean that's the way the system was set up, Alvin. What I'm saying You're is the system, the system that. is set up so that that guy can do that and get away with it is what I'm trying to say. Alvin, let me talk to you about just what happened in this case. Because you mentioned it, right? The mm -hmm. DA, the DA, this Jackie lady, she didn't, uh, she didn't prosecute the case and no one was arrested until 70 something days. You're saying the system was set up for that. I'm telling, wait, listen, like Luke Hazley said, just listen. I'm, I disagree. The system was set, not set up for that to happen. How do I know? Well, because we had Southern uh, Gotti come on who is in Brunswick right now. She was born and raised in Brunswick. And she said that the DA that did that, Alvin, they voted her out. She fought to stay in her position, a position that is majority white, by the way, which means that not only did black people vote to get her out, white people voted to get her out. Why? Why did the black people want her out and get her out? Why did the white people vote to get her out and get her out? They got her out because the system was not set up right. for her to do the things that she did, Alvin. Right. Like, just, just calm down for a second and just listen. The system was not set up for her to do what she did. But look how great the system is. The system contemplated <laughs> and the system put in a way to get her out. That is the beauty of the damn system. The system saw a bad apple, as you said, and it had a mechanism to get her out. Correct. That's what you're not seeing. You're so passionate. But Luke Hazley is just saying, just listen for a second. The system is set up to handle bad apples. Does it handle bad apples? 
great all the time? No, but there are mechanisms in place for black people and white people to work together to improve the system every day. Correct. Are have black people been incarcerated and been put on death trial, uh, death row for crimes they didn't commit? Yes. Guess what the system is set up for? Apparently, for for fucking Kim Kardashian to help free these black men. Kim Kardashian is freeing black men. If you didn't know, Heard about she that. is getting black men out. What allows that album? Alvin, what allows that? The same system that you are complaining about. I'm not. I'm not even complaining about it. I'm just saying it is what it is, man. And the real. And, and, and again, we we can we can. I mean, I I know, I know what you guys are saying, and 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 the the when you look at the picture at the end of the day, where the there's you know you know you could take all the sociological social socioeconomical bull, whatever, yada yada yada. All I'm simply saying is is just that. There is enough wiggle room in each of these positions to allow bad behavior. And if we didn't allow bad behavior, you said something earlier about just, uh, you know, having that discretion. And, you know, as a, you know, if, if one thing that I, I pride myself on is the rules are all the same for everybody, right? Rules are all the same for everybody. You mess up, you mess up. You do good, you do good. And that what way do you there's mean? no you benefited. Wait, 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 uh, yes, wait. I understand no, 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 no. I now understand you're just, that. Now you just never fucking gotta take your lumps. Wait, I'm willing wait. to take my lumps. No. If I mess up, if I mess up, uh-huh, I'm willing to take my lumps. That's now, a fucking I, lie. That is a lie. And I'm gonna tell you why it's a lie. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you right now why it is a lie. Because you said that you messed up. And I messed instead, up. Wait, wait, wait. And instead of taking your lumps, like you said, because you're going to be a man and take your lumps, you said you were shucking and jiving. You said you were dancing. <laughs> you said right. you were yes you right. You're you know, right. No, 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 no. No, no, no. I'm calling your, no, I'm calling your bullshit out now. No, 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 no. Now you're up here lying. I'm not you lying said, at all. no, no, no. If you were willing to take accountability for your actions, you would have not been up there shucking and jiving, doing your monkey dance no, like no, you no, were saying. No, no, no. I'm, I'm a shuck and jive. Uh, I'm a shuck and jive now. until I got I the got cuffs on. Now. And I'm like, damn, he got me. I guess ain't shit I can do. I got you he now. Got me. I'm listening got me. with my fucking good ear. Hey, <laughs> I got I you now. I called out your bullshit. Hey, of course. Who isn't going? Sh- hey, what did I say? I said, I said, my hands is on my ten and two. Yes, all sir. Right, no, sir. All right, massive. All, right. all everything. <laughs> Absolutely. And okay. then he's like, well, you know what? I just got another call. I got to go. I was like, hey, all right, thanks, Alvin. Listen, listen, listen. Shout out, shout out, shout out your YouTube channel, Alvin. You're up here hey. bullshit now. Says, uh, Thane says, it's easy to finger point external factors. The real work, as is mentioned, is starting <laughs> at home internally. Absolutely. Learn the system and play the game. That is exactly right. And to be honest, that's what Alvin said, right? Alvin learned the system and played the, play game the game when he got pulled over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, he was man. a heart willing for the What did he say? He was like, Yes, master, no yes, master. master. <laughs> <laughs> They, they, they they exactly. Shout out to Alvin, man. Let, let a couple of old dude. heads just josh you, Alvin, for a second. You know, <laughs> we just we just tease it. Shout out this, to this Alvin. Misguided passion, that's all. We need to just, you know, it's one of those things I always like to say, people are on the right train, but they're on the wrong track, right? That's so, exactly right. So the passion is respected, but it's we need to we need to we need to put put it to focus so we can actually get something done and not just be busy but be productive, you know. That's exactly right. That's exactly <sighs> I told him he was very passionate. You heard what TLA said. He said, listen, you're talking to two individuals who are in this profession. We do this for a living there. We're telling you, you're not looking at it the right way. This gentleman represents the minds of a lot of people. He's not wrong for feeling that way. He's wrong for not adapting his thoughts. He's wrong for not evolving. He's wrong for not taking in the truth. We're on the same side. Again, I always say it. I'm here for black empowerment. I'm here to make the situation better. You might not agree with my methods. You might not like the way I go about doing it. You might not even like the way I talk, the way I communicate. But my heart is there. We're on the same 
side. There's no need for us to fight. I'm good in this area. You might be good in this area. But we all have, we all should have the same goal. He was just very emotional. He was very emotional. So emotional, he couldn't receive the information. He didn't want to receive it. Why? He made his mind up already. Based off of one or two circumstances, anecdotal situations. He figured it all out but had no solutions. Again, you guys, you come to this channel and you want to challenge me, you want to debate with me, bring solutions. You want to complain. Listen, there are talented organizations out here who are very good at marketing the complaints, marketing the issues, but cannot provide any solutions. They're good at it. They make a lot of money off of complaining. They make a lot of money off of pointing out the same thing people pointed out in the 60s. Okay, organization. Okay, activists. Show me the laws that you've changed. Show me the impact that you've made. Show me. Show me. What I see is, in our community, is a bunch of people who are angry. Angry. And their anger is just so intense, they can't see the truth when you present it to them. They're in denial. What's the difference between passion? See, I'm passionate. I'm not angry. What's the difference? I'll tell you. I started off angry. When I did this profession, I was angry. I hated seeing people suffer. I hated seeing people take advantage of. I hated it. I hated seeing people bullied. I always wanted to say, stand up, say something about it. Always. I couldn't take it. <laughs> Out of that anger manifested my passion to want to do something about it. But see, the passion is very, 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 it's there, but it's subtle. It's noticeable, but it's balanced. It's gracious. It's humble. My passion manifested out of my anger. I move different. I talk different. My objective is different. Now you take someone who started off with passion. They wanted to do better, help others. And somewhere down the line, there was a restriction. There was a blockage. There was a strain. Something interfered with them from exercising that passion out. They were denied. They were blocked. They were stopped. That frustration, that, that frustration builds, right? And then out of that passion, you manifest anger. And this is what happens in our community. We have so many color justice warriors in the black community fighting for this cause, fighting for that cause. Oh, white people are killing us. They're lynching us every day. The police are assassinating black people. The police are going through our neighborhoods and killing all the black men. You see these articles posted by these activist groups, the NAACP, the police or this or the white supremacy that. <laughs> systemic racism this, systemic racism that. You see all these arguments being made. What happens, people are become so passionate, but when their passion turns to anger, when that passion turns to anger, they become dangerous. 
Why? Because you can't get through here. You can't get through there. When I was talking to that brother, that's what I felt. Someone I'm like, man, slow down, calm down, relax. Relax. That's the only way truth will come through. Calm mind, tempered spirit, humble. Anyways, let me know what you think. What are your thoughts on the conversation? What are your thoughts? Do you agree with him? Do you disagree? Do you agree with me? Disagree? What are your thoughts? I'm curious. And with that, you guys, allow these truths to find you where the lie has left you. And with that, good night. God bless.